Hello guys, this is Mohammed Faisal and today we will going to learn about biometric of our Android, Android application that how we can implement biometric security in our Android application and authenticate with uh, our fingerprint or our pattern or our uh, pin <coughs> pin so whatever we have uh, set it up with our uh, security in our phone. So there are two uh, uh, conditions. Uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, integrate the fingerprint, uh, fingerprint, then there are two conditions that you, uh, there is a fingerprint uh, available and uh, there is uh, no fingerprint available, and there is fingerprint is enabled or not enabled. Okay, so right now I have a phone in which uh, fingerprint is uh, fing fingerprint functionality is available, and we can. Uh, I also I'm also using a pattern so we can use both for authenticate so let me just show you a quick demo when I click on uh, start uh, biometric uh, this screen is showing bla blank because uh, the emulator is uh, you can't see the biometric in the em uh, emulator right now so but it is work working perfectly fine so as you can see that my when I click on uh, fingerprint and it successfully authenticated and uh, it's uh, give you if it will give you the result when I again click on the start biometric and now I'm using pattern so so see it is successfully working so I'm going to show you this uh, quick demo it is quite easy so stick to the video till last so let's get started so first we will gonna create a button. Okay, so so button uh H parent for content then text that use bio then all caps force margin by twenty margin left twenty ID okay id use bio button okay now just copy this id from here and come here come to your java file main activity of java file and use this button here now we will need uh cancel uh, a class now let me just tell you that uh, what we're going to need in uh, this practice First, we will gonna need uh, biometric manager uh, and biometric prompt by and cancellation signal and authentication callback. So let's get started with creating some uh, useful instances. So so cancel cancellation instances. This cancellation cancellation signal will uh, uh, give you an callback which is uh, which allows uh, you to sh uh, show and show or perform any event on uh, if suppose uh, if you have clicked on outside of the uh, biometric then what will happen so the cancellation uh, cancellation or uh, the where if you uh, press back then uh, the cancellation signal will be uh, triggered so okay and now let me just initialize this I button here so Find view by id r dot id dot okay this is fine and use dot set on click listener new on click listener okay so this is fine now i'm going to create a cancellation signals uh, uh, method so this will be private get cancellation sorry it, this return type will be cancellation signal so cancellation signal okay this is fine Okay, sorry, I think I had done I had done a mistake. So okay, after that we need to initialize this one. So cancel signal equal new cancel signal. Okay. So this is fine and if we need to check now we need to set a cancellation uh, set on cancel cancellation is new on question cancellation listener okay this is fine and now we just need to i'm just gonna print a uh, message here user 
cancelled authentication okay so again now we need to check that uh, biometric system, uh, functionality is available uh, in in our phone or not so we're going to create a method which will be returned first let's just finish this one with this one so cancellation signal okay this is fine now we need to private uh, boolean is bio available is bio available okay so we will gonna need key guard manager here create an instance of key guard manager new sorry key guard manager then get system service then use Context dot guard service okay and if key guard manager dot is key secured then return false okay and we will gonna print a toast here so just type toast and just I'm gonna print a uh, message here that fingerprint as not available this means that this condition uh, has been uh, this condition will check that the fingerprint is available or not so it has not available okay available okay Okay, this is fine then then we will gonna check for the permission so first if activity sorry activity combat we dot check self permission this manifest so dot permission dot use biometric not equal package manager dot permission granted return false again I'm gonna print this so yeah okay so if the uh, permission is not allowed this will uh, sorry, the permission is not allowed or the uh, e guard is not available so at that moment that uh, condition will be hit the the toast will be hit so get now the third condition is the get package manager and we will check that has system feature we will check that the uh, feature is available or not okay and we will going to use that if uh, they they had the uh, uh, here the condition comes that uh, we have if we have pattern or if we have a password kind of security also so we can use that too if uh, the uh, biometric is not available or biometric is not enabled at that moment so the condition will be that package manager can get package manager feature okay package manager dot feature fingerprint okay we just we are here we are checking that the uh, fingerprint is available or not so else also is uh, sorry else return sorry we need to because we uh, need to check that the, if the fingerprint is available then the then condition was true and if the if it is not available or uh, you have pattern or password security then you can also use the uh, biometrics uh, or the security locks okay so this method we will going to use that is bio, bio available first we will going to check the here okay so okay now we will going to need an uh, 
callback which is authentication callback which is comes from biometric uh, sorry let me just bring it in here okay authentication callback and authentication callback okay this is fine now if build sorry build dot version dot sdk initialization sorry greater than equal because this feature will work on android p plus so version course dot p then then type we will gonna create an uh, yeah I think sorry authentication callback authentication callback yeah it says new authentication sorry authentication callback and we will gonna need only the succeed and the error one right here you can use uh, on uh, authentication help and on on authentication failed so methods too so if you want to use you can use i'm going to use uh, on authentication error and succeed here so let me just come here and i'm just gonna bring a toast here the authentication get error so i'm gonna print authentication error and i'm gonna print on uh, a toast where if the result is succeeded no, no, no. okay okay our cancellation signal is available now we need to use and return and okay just cut it from here we will be going to use because just press alt enter and add require app okay this is fine and return authentication callback here and now we need and the last method here which will be our biometric okay so private void use biometric biometric now we will check that the condition uh, the version is 12 uh, sorry 10 plus or not sorry 11 because we will going to check that our version is r okay so because the biometric prompts and uh, are working in uh, above the above uh, in within uh, Android R, so let's just get started. Get prompt biometric prompt equal new biometric prompt builder <coughs> dot set title. So I'm going to set a title by bio, biometric exercise. Then I'm gonna set subtitle. Okay, so I'm gonna just set to subscribe to Mickey Fazel for latest tutorial. Hey, this is just a promotion by itself, so okay now set description you can also set description i'm not going to set description i'm just showing you that you can also set the description and you can also set negative button i'm not going to use negative button uh, uh, i want to uh, use that the if biometric is not available or uh, pattern or, or if we have pattern or uh, passcode so we can use that too or we uh, if you want to i want to allow you the biometric to uh, that I can also use uh, my passcode or pattern uh, if you, I don't want to use the uh, biometric. So for that, I'm going to need that set allowed uh, authenticator. So, so 
So I'm going to use in this one. So I'm going to set that biome biometric manager. Then I'm going to use authenticator. There is a listener with interface. And in that listener, we have strong. And this is for biometric. And if the biometric is not available, or if you want to use the other authentication, authenticate, uh, authentication uh, strategy then you can set the device credentials okay now just use build okay and <clears throat> now let's just set to biometric prompt dot authenticate now we need cancellation signal first cancellation sorry cancellation signal and here we need get main executor and then we will need authentication callback okay so it's fine but what's the issue okay, okay i think we are missing something there was so authentication callback this is fine Authenticate cancellation signal. Okay. And what? I think we need to change. We have to check. Signal we have. Yes, all things are fine here, yeah, but what what is the issue? Wait a minute, let me just check that. Executor and callback. Yeah, this is all fine. Get main executor, then we will gonna need authentication callback. Oh, I didn't use the permission here, so I'm gonna need manifest okay no i have used the manifest permission yeah this is fine yeah okay i forgot to uh, add the permission so that's why the error was occurring so now let's just set it to use use biometric here okay so now we are ready here so now let's just open my Simulator, mobile simulator here. So, as you can see, let me just check twice <laughs> because I have was forgot to add the. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. And let me just run this one. And about this video is uh, quite coming after a long time, so sorry for that thing but i will try to get videos uh this is just i was thinking because right now uh, ramzan is ongoing so i'm not uh, working much okay so let's just click on use bio so my fingerprint is now comes here and when i used to do this authentication succeeded okay I have used at the uh, at the moment the fingerprint. Now I'm going to use uh, the my pattern. So, okay, authentication succeeded. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do like, share, and comment your queries. Bye.